Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to make a waterfall chart and also format it really well in Office 16 and onwards. Formatting these charts are not as easy as you think uh, and definitely not as easy as other charts. So first, let's understand what this waterfall chart is, how do we create them and how do we format them. And I'll also tell you why I stick to the legacy way of waterfall charts sometimes. So firstly, what is a waterfall chart? These charts are used to explain variance between two data points. So here I have my budgeted profit and actual profit and the values are different. And this chart explained me the source of variance because of volume, my profit came down by 3000, but prices were higher, cost was pulling the profit down again, taxes pushed it up. So this is the what we see here. How do we create this? In order to create this, what we need is, we need these totals, this setup in our table and also the variances set up here in one single column, all the values should flow. You may even have subtotals sometimes, here I don't have it. Let me delete this chart and create a new chart from scratch. If you are using Office 16 and onwards, creating this chart is very easy. Select this data, go to the insert tab. Among the various chart options, you do see some new chart types that includes waterfall and funnel. Let me choose waterfall here. Now this chart is not looking anything like what we saw earlier. So what we see here is the budget profit is there in the first column. Then my actual profit, instead of being a pillar at the bottom, it's also floating on the top. And there are no arrows, nothing. So firstly, let's look at one thing which is let's set this actual profit column as a total because right now excel assumes that this last row is also a variance row so to select this as a total what we need to do is first click on the data series when you click on the data series first time it selects all the data points you click on it once more the actual profit click on it once more now it only selects this particular data point and right click here and choose set as total. I'll do the same for budgeted profit as well so that the colors are same. So let me select the budgeted profit once more, right click and set as total. Now we've got the variances here. It's starting to look closer to what we saw earlier. Now the problem is, uh, you know, orange and blue is not the colors that we associate with negative or positive when it comes to financial visualizations. Negatives are shown in red and positives are shown in green. And that formatting is what is going to get challenging in waterfall chart new version. Firstly, let's understand one thing that uh, these charts are not actually native Microsoft char Excel charts. These are some earlier in 2013, this was available as an add-in, which they subsequently integrated. So it doesn't behave the same way other charts behave. So certain formatting option doesn't exist. In a lot of other charts, I can easily move around my chart titles. Here I cannot do that. I'm trying to move it. It doesn't happen. So it's not easy to format as such. Now let's talk about, you know, what are the issues in formatting this? If I want all negatives to be in red, how do I choose it? Because here when I click on a data point once, it selects all the data series. If I choose it to red, it's going to make everything red. Doesn't work. Otherwise, I have to manually choose every single data point that I want to be red and change it. This is not going to work because next time if my volume variance is positive, it's a positive data and still is in red. That doesn't work. So what can we do about this? Here is where we have to choose with the legend. So all my decreases should be red in color. So what I'm going to do is click on this legends. First time when I click, it chooses all the data points. Next time I'm only going to choose the decrease legend. When I click on it, now it chooses decrease. Let me right click here. I have the fill bucket. I'm going to choose this as red. So you notice that all the decreases have become red. Same way, I'm going to choose the increase button in the legend section. Right click on it and choose the fill as green. 
So now all the decrease are red and increases in green. Next time, if my volume variance is going to be positive, let us say it's favorable, it's green. The colors automatically change. So this is how you can format the new waterfall charts which are there in our Excel from Office 16 onwards. I generally don't prefer even this formatting, even though it's a very common formatting because outside of the finance industry or the finance professionals, very few understand this chart. That red is negative, green is positive and how to read it is not something very common for everyone to understand. So what we can do here is to make it more easy to understand, we can make it into a pictograph. In order to make a pictograph, what I have done is, in my system, I have saved two images, a green up arrow and a red down arrow. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to choose this decrease section in formatting, right click on it. The fill option, rather than choosing a color, I'm going to choose a picture fill. I've saved this file in my PC, so let me choose the location where I've saved it. So here is a down arrow, let me pull it down, so you need to notice that it's not looking great but I do have a downward pointing arrow here. Same way I'm going to choose the increase item in the legend section, right click on it, I get the fill menu, then I choose picture fill from the file and up arrow. So this one as you can see here looks slightly better or more intuitive to understand that my sales, uh, I mean because of volume variance my profit is falling and that's pointed with a red color down arrow and then I have a green color up arrow. It's more intuitive and easy for anybody to understand. They don't need to have a finance background here. So this is how you can format it but here again in the new charts there is one issue these arrows come properly even here if you look at it the formats are not great it doesn't look the high definition uh, and it gets worse if you have two consecutive increases or two consecutive decreases here in my first illustration I have got one decrease then an increase then a decrease and an increase what if I had two increases simultaneously everything went for a toss right I have three increases simultaneously I just change the cost variance to positive my arrows are now going for a toss. In these cases, you may have to choose one of these data point manually and then again go for a picture fill and change this. Not great for automations as such. It doesn't work really well. But at least the red and green, that is something that we can choose. If you don't want these arrows, if you think they are too difficult to maintain, you can at least go for the red color and that formatting you can do from the legends. This is one reason why I stick to the old approach. In this case, I'm not taking you through how we have created this chart. This is a technique we used to follow prior to Office 2013. A very lengthy process or relatively speaking, at least a lengthy process to set up. But in here, creating these arrows are much easier and they are more stable. So let me delete this. I have a plain formatted charts here. So by default, this is done using an up and down bar and down bars are black in color by default. Up bars are white in color. So here formatting it much easier. I could right click on this, go to fill, picture fill. So down bars, I'm going to make them into down arrows and up bars, I'm going to choose them to have the up arrows, which is, I'm pulling it from the file. And as you can see, it looks much better. Uh, we can do some more formatting. I can remove the outline so that we don't see that dirty looking outline there. But yeah, we have it here. And this one doesn't suffer from the problem we saw earlier. So here again, let me change the cost variance to positive. I change it to positive. The arrows look much better, right? The issue with the old approach is that it is slightly more complicated to create, takes some extra steps and Getting the data labels on these charts are not very easy. In the new option, the data labels are perfectly falling in place. Very easy to understand how much is the decline, how much is the increase. In the older one, getting the data label was not an easy task, automating it. So it's you know about uh, what you want to balance. Uh, many are happy with red and green colors. In that case, you learned how to make sure that you know you get all the increases red, uh, or I mean green 
and all decreases red from these arrows or from the legends if you want to make it into pictograph old option is better but then data label is a problem but data if data label is more critical to you you can stick to the new option all right i hope you found this video useful uh, if you really like it please do like the video and do subscribe to our channel and do share it with your friends all right yeah thank you thank you very much bye bye